um, recently we came back from Pakistan and um, we got a few things and I got a few of my personal things and let's just say there are a lot of stuff and I wanted to kind of do like an unboxing and show you guys what I got so there's a mix of clothing books art stuff makeup jewelry and a lot more books for it so we're just gonna take other stuff away that are not books um okay so uh, some of the books were cheaper in pakistan so i decided to get the books there and let me just show you all the series i got so i got the dance of the thieves series which is dance of the thieves and battle of the thieves by mary pearson and i've seen book reviews and book talks and i was like I really wanted to get it. The next series was the Twisted series by Anna. Twisted Hate, Twisted Games, and Twisted Love. I've read Twisted Games and Love now. I've read Twisted Love and Games, but I haven't read Twisted Hate, and that's the next one. And then Twisted Lies. The next book series is... The next book series is the Cruel Prince series by Holly Black. Uh, the first book, I think, is the Cruel Prince. Then we have the Wicked King and... The Queen of Nothing, all by Holly Black, and I really wanted to get the series because my cousin and a few other people recommended it to me, and then I really wanted it. And then another book I got was The Woven Kingdom by Tara Methy, and let me just say, I love Tara Methy's work. So far, some of them are a bit like, I've only read, only really reading the Shatter Me series, but I've loved the character so far, and even now, I'm reading Restore Me by her right now, which is the, which is the fourth book of the series, and let me tell you, I have, I have book reviews on my Instagram, so if you ever want to see book reviews, go check my my Instagram out. and if you do have any books that you do want me to read or check out do comment the names below I do have a few books on my TBR but um I have to finish these first before I can move on so yeah so safe to say we're gonna be moving on to the next which is art so let me just take the books away and um so first we have this coloring pencils I just want to get color pencils because I do draw sometimes and sketch and I wanted to get colors the next thing we have is acrylic paint. So if you guys watch, okay, so this isn't a packet. So they have like colors in it, and I'm not gonna put it completely, but I'm just gonna show white, yellow, like a gold color, red, a scarlet color, brown, dark brown, green, verdure green, leaf green, dark blue. Then we have this like black, super pretty. I love the colors on this. And then we also have watercolors. These are the different type of watercolors. I have not used them yet because I'm still trying to buy in school and like still unpacking them stuff so here's what they look there are 12 colors on in the set and then it comes with the brush i might not be using this one i might just use my okay brushes but we'll... okay so next i think i'm gonna show you these erasers my mom got us she got us these super cute erasers so here we have a narwhal it's so cute like look how cute it is and then there's also they're so cute like right so there's this flamingo one and then there's this this like cloud with a rainbow and then we have also this avocado yeah, an avocado, that's what it's called, okay. Forgot the name of it. An avocado eraser, like how cute are these? And then there's more erasers. I have not opened, like, they're not open, so I'm not gonna open them because they're gonna just, like, fall out. But there's also these food erasers for my sisters. Then we have a box of tip bags. We got them pens. Oh, these pens are really good, so I'm using them right now. And obviously they're just pens. Who would really give out like that, but, like... These are so good. They write so well. Like black, blue, green, red. This just pushes the thing back. It's such a cute pen. I love these ones. And then there are pens. So we have these point pens. They write smooth. So this is what it looks like. Oh, and then we got balloons. We got these balloons from the shelf. We got our thing from the super balloon birthdays. Or these are all the stationery and like other little stuff i think i'm gonna show you guys my makeup next things that i got are like jewelry and like i've got a few of them i'm gonna start with these ones makeup jewelry and polish so i went out with my mom and Kala to get these and these are like so cute here's like an earring i wanted to get black and gold themed jewelry and this is so pretty the next one we have our balia i think they're i think no not balia 
I can't remember the name of them, but like they look like. They're like traditional jewelry. They're so pretty. Here is the next one. They're like colorful and have a little thing where you attach it to your hair then. Because these are pretty heavy and then I have like a little belt. And we have our these white ones. I also chose these ones. So this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. And this is for like white and white silver kind of themed dresses. And then these are... So here we have a pair of these like little themed... And then we also have, we put the jewelry there, and I have mostly like earrings and stuff. And um, our Kana gave us the, these like bangles. They're like traditional Pakistani bangles and they're so pretty. So these ones are made of glass. Actually, all of them here are. And like, if I show you one of them, like I'm not gonna take it out because I'm scared they're gonna break. Because my sisters wore these ones a few days ago and they were wearing it for their culture day. Right? And eventually, maybe because of the traveling, these are these silver ones. Uh, These ones are for me. White dress that I'm planning to wear. This one was for my mom. And basically you can like, customize mix and match how you want them so thank you to my khala for little roses on them nail polishes i actually got asked my khala to get them here we have like this really purplish like a light um pastel purple color then we have this like orangey kind of red color also really pretty then we have this red it's like a pinkish red color and we i actually wanted specific black so we have you some we also got some makeup stuff if i can find it so um some of them have some of them some of them i put them away and i don't know where they are right now so here is um a gajal by nine or two so this is waterproof smudge proof and it's perfume coconut oil olive oil oil and vitamin d and then the next we have is this eyeliner soft i think it's like those um so this is what it looks like it smells like those pen eyeliners pretty cute so I've been wanting a Pakistani like jersey for a while and we got this cricket one. It's for the T20 men's cup and it looks pretty cool because I really wanted it for a while. Jersey, but like I like it so much. So this was one of them early. But like we also got this. We, got, we have another one. This is one of them we got from Pakistan. This is a according to my brother, this is a Hardball cricket bat, and we got this since we knew playing cricket. There's another cricket bat we got. This is for more like winter, but like hopefully we'll be playing one the next one year. And like, so I wanted to do a little like try on and show you guys some of the outfits we got from Pakistan. So this is one of the outfits. This is like a uh, brown short kameez, and it has like little tassels here and the same thing at the bottom of the dress and for now I'm matching with this black scarf or like dupatta and I'm matching with my black cargo pants I'm wearing the next outfit is this off-white and like gray themed uh knees it's only a gray fairy and this is from Edinburgh we got this when we went to Lucky One and this is a two-piece set, it has this like printed dupatta or like a scarf towel and then we have the dress here well I find this super cute, it's like really casual, simple and I really love the dupatta matching with it uh, another kameez, this is also from an Edinburgh by the shop we got from and this is like a purple and steel like dyed shirt and then it has like embroidered in in purple the sleeves are pretty too. So this is the next set I'm wearing. This is a shower and a gummy. So this is the like this is the first proper set. Um, this one I think my mom got for me, and it's like so pretty. I have like a little like excuse that I do need to iron these, but like I just hang them up in my cupboard as soon as I pass this because. I'm not wearing them for a while and I just wanted to show you guys for the video of what I've got. So they kind of do need ironing, that's why they look like this. But this is the next set. It has a pajama with the two, the shower kameez. And this is like a whole outfit. It has the kameez, the, like, the top, which is the shower, and it had a dupatta with the set. And I really like it because it's nice. I love the printing on the dress. It's like so pretty. Like look how pretty this is. I love it. We got this from I think Saya, if I haven't mentioned it before. And it's like super pretty. So, so here's another outfit. Trouser and top, short knees. And this one's more of a casual type. It's not really casual because like it has mirror, mirror bits. 
they're like really well known and like really trending in Pakistan these days because I got a formal outfit in Pakistan recently and that's like really formal I had like a lot of mirrors on it so leave so this one's like little mirrors I think uh, my Kala got this one for me and I'm matching this with black 